y'all. Y'all know, I told y'all in the last video, or did I, that my setup has been changing because I need to find somewhere else to film, blah, 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 blah. So right now, I'm literally in my living room sitting on the floor because the lighting's good in here. I don't need to bring my ring light. Stuff like that. But yeah, Love Me sent me this beautiful wig. It's 20 inches, 13 by four. It's supposed to be able to be glueless, so I'm gonna try to do a glueless install since it's extremely hot. Yeah, so yeah. It's highlights in the curls. I love it, it looks so pretty. I believe this is a water wave wig. But yeah, I'm just getting to the install cause I need to hurry up. So this was pre-bleached and pre-plucked and I wanted to see if I could just install it without doing any extra plucking or any bleaching or anything and it would still look good. So we're gonna see. I didn't like the little side part so I had to make it a middle part. I didn't even cut the lace yet and you can't even, you see how? Yeah, the lace is giving. But yeah, I'm about to just cut the lace. And I'm gonna just wear it like this. I literally don't have it glued down. I'm probably gonna glue it down later. Y'all know I can't do the glue list, but this can actually like pull off as a glue list for me. I'm going out later, so I definitely need to glue it down, but you can see like it's actually plucked really nicely, super naturally. And the curls like cover it. It's literally giving Beyonce, I'm liking it. Give me a second, I'm gonna cut the, the lace for real this time. I actually really like this. All right. All right, I cut the lace. And this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna show you guys how I style it since, you know, the install took two seconds. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I define the curls and all of that. So give me a second, I'm gonna get all the stuff I need. I might go somewhere real quick and then do it, who knows, but yeah. This is what it's giving. You see, it's very much so glueless. All right, y'all. So I've been rocking this hair for about four days now I think four yeah and I did glue it down with the um bold glue it was giving glueless I wore it glueless the first day because I just didn't feel like doing it install fully but yeah this is what the hair looks like when I wake up in the morning I'm gonna show you guys how I refresh the curl make it look nice throughout the day well for the day um yeah, so let's just get into it. Um, I know the install was a little short since all I had to do was really throw it on. I didn't pluck it. I didn't bleach the knots. It already came fully customized, which thumbs up for that. I love that. But yeah, this is the length it comes to. It's 20 inches. It's actually pretty long for a 20, um, for a 20 inch. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just gonna get into doing what I do. Water, key ingredient. Just gonna spray. Now me, personally, I don't soak the hair. I just dampen it just to give it the shine back and give the curl pattern a little bit back. Um, I meant to make sure I said that this hair is very much so a deep wave. It's not a curly unit. So if you're looking for a curl, like a deep curl, don't get a deep wave wig. Definitely, if you want this color, do a curly. If you want curls, because it's giving wave. You can see, like, it's not really like curls. <clears throat> and this is what an actual deep wave should look like, but a lot of companies just give us curly. But yeah. So, see the difference? This side is tamed this side of the main, I'll be safe.
I do like to detangle it a little bit because once it dries, it's just going to be a mad mess if I don't detangle it. So the key is to make sure it's wet enough to detangle the, I mean dry enough, wet enough to detangle but dry enough to not look like it's soaking wet, like super flat. I want to keep some of that fullness. top to be flat nice. now I take my lot of body it's literally on its last leg like it's on its last leg um, I put like this much I don't like to put too much because it will harden and uh, I don't want hardened curls Now, I'm going to hot comb the top of the hair and get it nice and flat. I know this setup looks a little crazy, but I'm about to go to work and I didn't feel like going upstairs in my hair room. So we're here. My next video, I think my setup I'm going to figure it out. I had a dream last night and I'm like, mm, I'm going to flip my room the other way and then it should look nice. So we'll see. In the next video, you'll see if it worked out or not because I do have another hair video I need to film. And this is what it looks like. I love this wig. I literally think I said in my last video or something like that that I wanted more curly units because I always get straight or just colors but this is giving this is giving I love it it's like a uh, highlighted on the top and the bottom is just brown which is so cute but yeah this is how I refresh my curls in the morning you know I didn't even have to really touch my baby hairs they haven't moved and I don't like them like stuck down I just want it to look a little bit more natural but yeah this is what it looks like in the morning i might show you guys what it looks like when it's dry this only took me like five minutes so yeah quick and easy hair love it i'll see y'all in a little bit or in the next video if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget don't forget if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The link to this wig will be in the description box below. And thank you, Let Me Hair, for sending me this wig and working with me so many times because I, I really love your hair anyway. But yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Peace.